Hey, this is John. Welcome back to Infinite Resources 2. So, in this episode, I want to build a wither murdering device. So we're going to use another mob crusher from Industrial Foregoing. And I want to get this wither builder, because it's a very good way to build the wither to murder it. Um, but we can't build it just yet, because it requires a supreme machine frame, which requires ether gas, which we don't have. And it's kind of hard to get, but hey, we're going to get some anyway. So we need to get a few things. We need a fluid laser base and some more laser drills and a purple laser lens. If we get all these things, we should be able to get ether gas and then we can use that to build a weather builder and uh, then good things will happen. So, uh, first thing I want to do is get some weatherproof blocks and probably some of this tinted glass so we can see what's up. So, uh, this stuff is weatherproof. Um, for some reason, glass and charcoal, but, you know, whatever. So, let's get some of that. And I'm trying to think how high I want this to be. I'm thinking I want it to be 5x5x5, five by five by five, but it's going to be hollow. So... I think they'd be like 125 blocks, but I'm not really sure. Um, let's start with um, let's start with a stack and see where that gets us. So I also want this stasis chamber, which I just hit the wrong button for. So let's get one of those as well. It's going to require an advanced machine frame, a couple of gas tiers, gold gears, a piston. Yeah. That should be fine, just fine. All right, there we go. There is our stasis chamber. And we're going to want some power for him. So let's get a flux guy. All right, so this thing will keep the wither in place no matter what. Well, all it has power. So the question is, where do we build it? Do we risk it ever losing power and leaving a wither to destroy everything we've built? We build it far away. We build it in the mining dimension. That's not a bad idea, the mining dimension. Uh, by the way, uh, we have 8,000 ender pearls. We got them in about 40 minutes. So uh, <laughs> I think we don't need endermen to be murdered anymore. We need more Ender Skulls, or <laughs> Wither Skulls. So I put, I got a tier three of this guy and uh, put this in, in there for now. So we'll see if we need more uh, Ender Pearls later, but honestly, <laughs> I don't know what for. We have 3,200 buckets of liquid meat too. So I turned him off temporarily just so we get more skulls. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm, what do you think? Should we build it in the overworld? Tempt fate? I mean, realistically, we shouldn't ever run out of power. But we could. Nah. That's not what I do. I don't play on hardcore mode. There's a reason for that. Let's go build it somewhere that if it gets out, I'll never find it. <laughs> There'll be a rogue wither somewhere that I will never find. That, that's what will happen to the wither. Let's see here. Yeah, I think you're going right in here. Alright, there we go. So, yeah, let's carve out some of this area real quick. Uh, where's my drill? Yeah. There we go. Okay, there we go. A nice little area to uh, have a wither in, I guess. I don't know. All right, so here's going to be where our stasis chamber is. Let's put a map waypoint over here. Wither 
ether farm. Okay. Turn him off for now. I don't need him on at the moment. Okay, you're going to need power, definitely. But I don't want to put power on you just yet. I want to show the working area. So he is a 3x3, three three effectively, which is fine for the wither. That's all we need. We need this 3 by this 3. So, you know, actually 4 tall. So, yeah. So, let's start by getting some of this glass. And then we're going to put witherproof blocks everywhere else. So in theory, um, the wither won't be able to get out even if, uh, you know, something did happen. So if we step inside here, we will be trapped by the field. So we don't want to step inside here either. So we're going to leave that be. And I need to build one wither and then, you know, basically get out of there. So... I'm curious, uh, let's uh, get some of the glass back. We will add that later. So, let's add a piece of dirt. Okay, so uh, we're going to put the laser drill right over the wither. So I'm hoping it can be one block up. I think that's how I built it in the test world, but let's find out. And I didn't bring any of that stuff, so I guess we're going back home for a minute to go get that. All right, let's go back to the house. Okay, let's see here. Um, here, we've got an advanced machine frame. We've got a laser drill. Did I not build any of these things? I guess I must not have. Because if I had, you know, we'd probably have some of these things. All right, let's see here. Here's our laser base. Then we're going to need four laser drills. Then I need a laser lens. All right, do I have my laser bases, my laser drills? No, we don't. Okay. All right, there we go. Let's see what it is crafting. Crafting plastic, it's processing stuff. There we go, laser drills. And laser lens, and I want some purple dye. Let's get some of that. There we go, a purple lens. So that should be good. Yeah, and we got that already. Okay. I think we're good. Um, I'm going to take some energy pipes as well. Let's take this upgrade. And let's go back over there. Enderman, what are you doing out here in the daytime? That's a bad Enderman. Here's zombies, too. Okay, so you're going to go right here. And then... We're going to put the laser drills here. 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 And here. Oh, good. None of them placed correctly. I was worried they would. And what fun would that be? OK. 
Okay. Okay, they're all good now. We want the purple laser lens. Uh, the depth is fine. We're gonna take we're gonna take some pipes and we're gonna run here. Nah, I'm not going to do that. Hang on. Okay. Alright, well, we're going to run these up here. I know that I forgot a tank, but I'll get one in a little while. Okay, so there's that. Let's put this on here. This is going to be the ether farm. Okay, and I need to wrench you. Okay, and I want you to be a gold output. So now, in theory, he has power. Yes, he does, because we are very hard time going to get out of there. Okay. So there it is. There is the Wither Farm. So let's get that stone back. And I believe this is going to stop the um, Wither from being able to blow up. Although I'm not 100% sure about that, which is why we're building things out here. Okay, so there we go. He's hiding the working area. And... I know, but I don't see any. Alright, let's build the wither. I didn't bring that either. All right, going back home to get uh, a tank for the ether gas and stuff to spawn one wither to hold it there indefinitely. And we need to have that chunk loaded as well. So I need a wither skeleton skull, or rather three of them. I need some soul sand. I need an ender tank. And we're going to dye it light blue. There we go. Let's get that going. Okay, there we go. Alright, I think that should be everything then. Alright, let's try again. So... Let's um, push the output to the top. And then let's build the wither and add the rest of the glass. And let's hope... I did this all right. A wither and he is stuck there and we should be getting fluid we are ether gas is going in there perfect a very small amount each time it's like uh, 10 
for every one of these. But we could speed this up with speed upgrades, efficiency upgrades, and whatever the other kind are. Could definitely do that to get more of this. We don't need that much, though. So let's see here. Let's click on the map. And we're going to claim this chunk and then force load it. So there we go. All right. Cool. So there is the first step, getting ether gas. Uh, yeah, we will see about getting that sped up a little bit. Let's go back to the house. All right, let's get some speed upgrades. Let's get four of those. And that should help out with gathering up the gas. Okay, there we go. So we're going to go back there to the wither farm. The wither ether farm. All right, there we go. So there it is. All right, let's put one in you. In you, in you, and in you. Okay, there we go. That's going to farm our ether gas for us, which will let us build a wither builder. Now, we shouldn't have any problem with him. All of these blocks are witherproof. So even if we lost power, he shouldn't be able to escape and do any damage. But, you know, i just kind of hoping that's true. All right, there we go. So that's a good start. And didn't need too many weatherproof blocks either to build that. So that's the plan for the actual thing as well. All right, um, let's get a storage block. By the way, you can see I am using all 496 storage blocks. I'm not using any of the smaller ones. Um, we're pretty good on fluids. We've got uh, full essence, full water, full milk, full lava, three, 3,200 buckets of milk, roughly, 169 buckets of latex, 60 buckets of the other latex, and 30 buckets of pink slime, you know, plus 64, 64, 64 of stuff I had over here before. So, yeah. All right. So, first things first. We need an ender tank. And I need another light blue. Okay, now you probably don't have anything in there yet, or very little anyway. So you have, I, I can't even tell how much you have in there. It's, it's very little. There's no way it's a bucket at this stage. So we have no way to filter this just yet. So, yeah, we have no way to filter this just yet. Um, syringe from RF tools utility. No, that's uh, that's not what we want. Okay, I was hoping for the syringe or the dropper, which lets you filter things by much less. But I don't think we have it. Okay, so you can tell ethers in there, just we're not sure how much yet, but um. The whole thing will be 16 buckets. We have very little right now. So it's going to be a bit of a problem to get that gas into the thing just yet. So I'm wondering, I'm wondering if we can tick accelerate this and cheese this a little bit. Let's go find out. So you can see his tank is just a little bit. Let's use our magic bottle. And how are you doing? I mean, the, you, you can watch the line move in real time. This is definitely doing something. So it's definitely working. So, yeah. All right. Well, you know, um, hey, there we go. A whole bucket of ether gas. Perfect. I can now filter this for the RS system. I don't need much. I just need enough to filter. That's all I need, really. Okay. 
So let's hang on to you. And let's add this bucket. So we'll turn this guy off. And we're going to put our last gas or fluid over here, I guess. Um, yeah, let's put this guy here. You're going to be a whitelist for ether gas. There we go. Can turn you back on. And we can break this guy. And let's get an importer. And let's go outside. And here we go. We need our last importer for our tank guy. Okay. And here we go. Fluids. And hopefully the answer is you have some of that in you now. 300 millibuckets. Wow, we're just drowning in this stuff. All right. We have enough. We only need 135 to make the supreme guy to build that. So I think we are where we need to be. So, yeah, we need our, our one nether star to build this. We need a supreme machine frame. So to construct that needs ether gas and all this other stuff, which is fine. And netherite, which we have plenty of. Okay, so yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and make a pattern for this guy. So here's the supreme machine frame. You go in this guy. So let's get one of these guys, a supreme machine frame. I did not do that right, did I? Yeah, I'm thinking I told it this was what we wanted, and it's not. I want this. Okay. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's try that instead, because that'll make way more sense. So, there you go. Put this in here. And, yeah, okay. So, let's do that, and... Okay. There we go. A supreme machine frame. There we go. We have our wither builder. Awesome. Okay, so now we're going to go set up a very similar system. Um, let's get a bit more of this glass. Okay. And we're just not going to have a stasis machine now because we don't care about it. We're just going to have the thing be killed by the uh, mob crusher. So you need to get one of these. Let's get that real quick. There we go. I'm not sure what the default range is. I probably need a little bit bigger range. I'm thinking this guy is probably a range that's fine. Um, let's see here. Oh, by the way, um, these trash cans do not respect <laughs> NBT, so I can just chuck the gold, the leather, the iron, the chainmail in here and have this guy output the filter to nearest first, and they'll go to the trash cans first, and nothing else will go in here. So that does work to filter out the garbage, most of it anyway. We're still getting some iron tools, but, you know, mostly we're doing pretty good there. All right, so let's see here. Uh, let's go take a nap before we start. And where am I going to build this guy? So, thinking about what I need. I need enough stuff to build a wither. And I need to... I need to have the blocks. So we're going to need probably a bit more of these. Yeah, somehow um, they're detecting me through these walls. I'm not sure how that works out, but um, every once in a while, if I stand over here, uh, huh? I think he is spawning occasionally outside these walls. Well, we are powerful enough with our armor to withstand a creeper blast from up close with no defense. Did not realize that. Huh. That's, um... He shouldn't have spawned there, though. That's all he spawned there. 
uh, whatever. Okay, so yeah, let's um, let's just go one behind one of the machine. I need to access the system. System is somewhere over here or here, right? It's got to be at least up here. So I'm think we can put things right here and it'd be okay. That's what I'm thinking. All right, let's start by doing that. Let's go ahead and dig out a little bit of the floor. So maybe right here. And let's put some weatherproof blocks. And we'll put the wither builder. There we go. Working area. He's going to build right in here. So we need to build around this spot right here. So All right, there we go. So let's put the mob crusher here. And what's your area of effect? That's not going to work out. But if you were here, that would be perfect. Okay, cool. This will work for what I want. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. All right. So that one's fine for that. So, yeah. I need to put stuff into you somehow. So... I'm not sure if he can break the mob crusher. We might want to put the mob crusher back one because um, it at least used to be that he could be behind um, a block and he would still work. So, I mean, he says he'll work from there. So we'll, we'll try that and see that. No, I could do that. Right now, I don't care. Um, let's put your area of effect back up so I can build this properly. All right, we're going to need more of those weatherproof blocks. So... Oh, are we out of wither essence? That's not good. Thought we'd have more of this. I even planted two more fields of this stuff to make sure I had enough. How is it coming, by the way? Yeah, I mean... Wither... Terra, Netherite, Wither... Hey. Cut that out. Where did I plant you? Up, down, and left. Left. Up. Yeah, I mean, you're where you're at. All right. Um, well, I guess we'll use more of this glass since we can use it. And it's supposed to be weatherproof as well. A little bit cheap, but uh, you know what? Temporarily, uh, we'll just uh, use the glass. So, yeah, tinted glass. Okay. Where is, I need a piece of dirt. All right, so... Here is what should happen. The weather should be in there, and it should get murdered by that thing behind it. It should not be able to escape here or destroy these blocks. And if it is, it's going to be a bad day. But let's hope that it can't. And if it can, then I can uh, kill it quickly enough to not have to worry about it. Okay, there we go. All right, uh, step two. We need to get in there to 
bring the system into this guy. This guy. So, I'm thinking I'm going to put an interface right here. So let's do that. Okay. So an interface, I want soul sand, and I want wither skulls. And let's do that. So I want four of these and three of these at all times. Okay. Let's go ahead and get everything else. So I want a translocator. There we go. And I need a diamond nugget to regulate this. There we go. All right, so. All right, let's take this and this. And we want the inventory to be a regulate. I'm hoping that will work. We'll find out soon. Okay. You don't have anything to export yet because we haven't done anything with you yet, so you can't export yet, so... Soul sand, soul sand, weather skulls, okay. I might want um, a redstone signal as well. So where I'm going to put it, I don't know yet. So let's uh, hold off on that for the moment. We may need to go uh, XNet instead. I'm going to leave this as ignored. Um, run on pulse. Uh, trying to think how I can make a pulse there. All right. Let's just do a little bit of testing first. Um, we're going to need some power, definitely. So let's start with that. You know, how am I going to get all these items and stuff and power into one face this block? There's, there's just no way. Yeah, this isn't going to work. We're, we're going to have to use... We're going to have to use XNet, I think. Yeah, I think we're going to have to use XNet. Okay, um, let's do XNet instead. All right, I need connectors and cables and a controller and a lever. And do I have a uh, flux point? Do I have an energy cell? Here's a flux cell. Do I have a flux point? I don't see one, so let's get one. And yeah, that's what we're going to do just for a little while. So I think I'll put the connector and the things back here. So let's start by, we'll put the controller right here. Okay, it's primed now. That should be an output though. All right, let's move this guy back one. Okay, so channel one is going to be power. So let's extract from here and insert into here. Okay, you're good now and you are draining. Let's have an input be on top to keep you powered all the time. Uh, you are going to be the uh, nether star farm. Okay, that's good for that. And let's put the lever right over here. Okay, so um, run with redstone signal. 
run with redstone signal. This thing should probably run all the time, actually. We'll turn off, we'll turn off the builder. That's all we need to turn off. All right, so here is the other connector. It's going to be here. So let's go down and find out. Okay, there's that. So let's put the cable. And we can take the cable. Okay. So can you see everything? You can see both machines, the lever. Yeah, that looks pretty good. We need the interface to be somewhere around here as well. Can that be over here? I would think that it could. Let's put you over here. Not that far back, though. No, no, I said not that far back. There we go. Okay. Uh, now we can hook you up somehow. So I want you to have that and that. Okay, so... Where is the system? All right, it's right here. All right, let's get some cable. I know I run a little bit long, but I think we're really close to having this done, and that would be cool if it worked. So let's hope that it does. All right. Um, okay. Are you on now? I I guess you are. Yep, you are. Okay. All right. So that works for that. Okay, so um, let's make sure he's not going to run just yet. Okay, you are only going to run the signal, and you have no power. Cool. So two things will keep you from running. Why is it always night time? This sword is awesome, though. Okay. What monsters? Well, I'll murder them then. I'm trying to do work here. Go away. Go away, I said. We're close. Leave me alone. All right. Uh, yeah. Power. Let's give it some power. So let's copy this here and here. Let's um, insert into the item channel. We're going to insert. Let's see here. We're going to insert four soul sand. And we're going to skulls channel. You are going to insert uh, three skulls. And then we will extract from you. Let's see if that worked. Yep, that worked. Although, I'm not sure it can do any more than one item per place. So that may not be necessary at all. Um, let's go kill this channel. 
And let's just say we extract and we insert. I think that will be fine, actually. Okay, so there's that. You are the mob crusher. You are my signal. So um, I want a logic channel, a sensor of redstone equaling 15 output on white. And then you will be an output on white for 15. Mob Crusher will always run. So, I mean, I think that's everything, right? Yeah, that should be everything. Okay. Get ready. Okay. All right. So, what all happened? He broke cables. He broke lots of things. Okay. So, uh -huh. I'm thinking that may be why the build was one up. I think he destroyed my wither builder. That's okay though. We can rebuild it. But, I mean, that's the idea. And he didn't break anything else. He broke some cables with the explosions. So we might need to put those um, a little bit farther down. Or have more blocks between them. But that's the basic idea. Wow. There was a lot of stuff here. So I think what the best solution for that would be. I don't really know just yet. But I'm thinking... Just a little bit more um, blocks between might help out. I'm going to have to play with that and find out. So, um, but that's the basic design. So, yeah, I will tweak how it, it goes and uh, we will, you know, get it working. But, yeah, this did work to kill him. Another star. Awesome. So, yeah, I got to build another one. And, uh... When I do that, we'll see how it works. So, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, hit the like and subscribe button. Come back and see us next time when we'll do other things. Maybe. We'll see.